Reverend Rachel Abraham, and I represent the Episcopal Church, a member of our Indigenous Ministries National Committee and the Forest Executive Council. Sarah Eaglehart, and I'm the Missioner for Indigenous Ministries at the Episcopal Church, um, on staff of the Providing Bishop. Where do you come from? What, 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 is your, what are your tribal, yeah, your tribal background? Originally, my, my tribe is the Ogallala Sioux Tribe of South Dakota. Originally, I'm Shokani from British Columbia. How are you finding, how are you finding the conference? How have you found the conference in, um, so far? I think the conversations are really good. They're, they're, they're weaving themselves together in the time that they're taking, and they're very good. I've been to a couple of uh, meetings um, of the Anglican Indigenous Network, and this is my second time in New Zealand, so I'm very happy to be here with all of our brothers and sisters, and to be working on a new direction and vision for Indigenous ministries in the Anglican Church, so we're very excited to be here. Oh, she's so my name is Edward Anahama. This is my uh, first trip to ANI as a representative to to and I from Hawaii. Um, I live on the island of Oahu. So I'm really happy to be here um, in the land of the long brown cloud, as uh, Bishop Bob said earlier yesterday. Uh, we're happy to be here to be in this island. Uh, take care of business, as we say in Hawaii. And uh, just happy to be here. Thank you, Edward. Oh, Aloha. I'm Peggy Lenny. I'm Edward's wife. Uh, accompanying him on this trip and, uh, like he said, so very blessed and so very privileged and honored to be here in Hawaii. Um, I'm from Saskatchewan, Canada. Uh, I'm a user of Paul Montreal um, It's a hundred kilometers from where I am right now. Prince Albert is an urban city. It's, um, <laughs> I'll be there for a whole year, and I'll go back home while we're here. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Shiva. I'm enjoying my time so far. Um, it's, it's been a good experience because um, each day I'm I get more insight on certain things that I need to work on and to build for myself and for those Hi ladies, kia ora kōrua. Whereabouts are you both from? And, um, I'm from Hawaii. What are your tribal links? My tribal we come from Ohana, we call family. So all of our Ohana or families are, there's eight islands. The Hawaiian Indians are not the eight islands, but we are the lowest population. Even though at one time we are the lowest nation, but we are the smallest. We are not, uh, we're, we're, we have Anglican connection, but we are uh, Episcopal. So, and, but we're the Episcopal Diocese of Hawaii. We represent the Diocese of Hawaii. Well, I, I was um, I was born in the uh, Western Islands of Torres Strait. Torres Strait Islands and Melanesian Islands. They were once part of the Pacific. They're situated between Papua New Guinea and a tip of Australia. And our population is a minority within minority. I, my family move away from there. They're up in the Cape, um, Cape York. And I work in Brisbane. Um, my tribal name is um, Tobaya which means a leader. And, but when I was doing my research in Hawaii uh, with Wadi Hanai, uh, I was looking at the Hanai practices. So I was given a name, Lokelani, 
And so that's also a part of my traditional name as well that was given to me. And then when I was doing some work in, um, in uh, the Highlands of Tahiti, it was, um, they gave me a name, my Miki. Um, so that's my other name. So um, I live in Brisbane and part of the uh, Anglican Diocese there and the leader of the Torres Strait Islander Ministry in Brisbane. I'm also um, an academic and I, but, um, my job is I'm a counselor, um, doing some family counseling, relationships Australia, Queensland, and uh, many more hats that I wear. So.